These guys are university graduates, but today they are frying a car on the streets to survive. Hi, my name is Godsend Carlo. I'm a university graduate of economics department. But today, I fry a car on the streets to make a living. Hi, my name is Marty Ibe. I'm an university graduate of economics. But today, I assist my friends like around the streets and make a living from it. When you were young, what is something you have always wanted to be? I've always wanted to be a business person. What about you? I've always wanted to be a psychologist. Okay, when you were in school, where did you imagine you'd be after school? I thought I would be working in a big company or in a factory to understand how the system is. What about you? I wanted to work in an office, organization, administrative work actually. Well, what did you study in school? Economics. But you wanted to be a psychologist? Yes, I wanted to be a psychologist. But my uncle said uh, psychologists don't easily get employed, so I, sh I should study economics. So I did economics for my uncle actually. What about you? What did you study? I studied economics. Okay, so who owns this business, both of you? Okay, it's God that owns it. I'm just the manager. Mm -hmm. But um, on a normal plane, I own the business. Yes. Okay, so what does he do? He's assisting me to run the business. So with this business that the both of you are doing, where do you see yourselves in five years? In the next five years, we should be, our company would be the leading organization when it comes to fried foods. In Bielsa State. In Bielsa State and beyond at least to the southeastern and south-south region of the nation. Well, that's really interesting. Okay, um, I'm really curious, how much did you put into this business? I, I put about, I started it with 50,000, but so far so good. Uh, our net worth is about 250,000. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's complaining of lack of employment, no means of income. But this young man came together with 50,000 around to start something. They could not. Have, did you apply for a job after school? I did apply for a job just to pass out time and, you know, to understand, to figure out what I was going to do with my life. How did it go for you? Uh, it, was, it was fine. At least in the job that I got, the pay was not much, but. It's in the process that I got the inspiration to start the fries business. What about you? Yeah, I applied for a job, but I was not called up. Okay, you didn't get employed? I didn't get employed. Okay. So, have you ever felt the need to give up? Yes, yeah, several times. But when I remember the big picture and the plans, and how it would be if I give up, I get motivated to continue. Okay, you know, it, it, we live in a society where a lot of young people are into fraud. Have you ever felt tempted or have you ever been called, invited by a friend to come and do fraud? Or do you have any experience in it? Okay, I have not thought about it. But um, while I was trying to start up, a friend said, invited me. Not really a friend, but a neighbor said he was going to teach me. The guy was living large. He was going to teach me free of charge. You know, he wanted to groom me. But I knew that I have a different path. And he has his own part. Were you pressured to start this business? Are you the first child of the family? Okay, I'm not the first child of the family, but I'm the first graduate in my family. Okay, how many children? We are seven. Okay, so are you like, is it like that kind of a family where everybody brings money together to send a child to school? Then after the child is done, they send the next child? Yes, it's like that because um, the family extended, contributed to my education so and um, right now the table is on my side to do the same and god has been gracious are they proud of what you are doing currently uh i was discouraged by some and i was encouraged by some so but i've already made up my mind that this is gonna get big and it will get big so what about you yes i'm proud of what i'm doing presently really because at least for the meantime Though we started small, but I'm sure of the future. The future is going to be great. What, of your fa what is your family saying about this? Uh, really, my family is not really in support of me, but I believe when we get when we get there, we, everything will align. Okay. So, if there's anything you'd like to ask for, what would it be? Uh, I would like to ask for support. What kind of support? Financial support. To expand, right? Yes. Yes. Because the plans are already there, and. Um, the step-by-step -step plans are already there. It's How much are you making a month from this? Or in a day? Let's say day. 
in a day i make a profit about five thousand naira in a day okay so if you expand how much do you think you'll be making every day if i expand to according to our plans we'll be making nothing less than fifty thousand naira as profits every day because you're going to have refrigerator, you're going to be selling drinks, you have more space, you, you can, you know, you, you are go- based on the demand. If 10 people should come there and ask for Friday and an egg, you can, it will take you time to actually deliver that because you don't have the equipment to make it faster, right? Yes. But if you have space, you have this equipment, as people are coming, I just, and I don't think there are too many people doing this kind of business here in Bayasa. Uh, not so many persons. The only few that are doing it are not doing it as much as the excellence it requires. Like, talk about it. Okay, most persons that do this our business are old women, you know, matured people that are just trying to survive and, you know, live their life. Um, but, so they are not doing it with creativity and excellence. So, that's the concept we are bringing into the fried business, to bring it, make it excellent and um, standard for other people, different caliber of people to eat. I might be wrong, but what this guy is doing has no reference in Nigeria. If you want to buy pap, you won't see somebody serving you pap this way, except in a very, very big restaurant. This guy is willing to start small. He started with 50,000 naira and see the way he's creating value. This is sugar in a cup. This is honey for those of you that want honey in your pap. This is milk and then this is pap. You don't get to see these things every day in Nigeria. So as a university graduate, he wants his own product to be exceptional. The value he wants to create is creating it with a difference. See, if you support this guy, I believe that he's going to go find life. So what do you say to people? I need your support to get to a bigger picture. Started with 50,000 naira and look at the kind of value they are creating with 50,000 naira. The kinds of people that do the business, they are usually older people. Do you have anything to say? An encouragement to Nigeria and you that are just sitting at home watching this video and crying that life is really, really difficult and no means of income. Okay, thank you so much. Um, start wherever you are. Start wherever you are. I believe in one thing. If I can get one naira from a business, I can multiply it and increase it. All I just need is the creativity and idea to raise it high. So don't think the profit is little. Don't, don't be quick to make money. Set your foundation very well. The experiences, the losses, whatever you're doing, the experience is the most important thing. Be encouraged. Don't give up. Life is going to get better. Thank you. What about you? I, I believe we get there one day. No matter how small we start, I believe just build capacity first. I believe in capacity. Your advice to Nigeria and you to encourage me? Okay, I want to encourage every youth out there to just start from where you are. Don't let money stop you. Just get started. Thank you. If I was to say something else, I would say do not be ashamed of your identity because that's the story of those young men. They left school, graduates of um, university and um, they looked around. They are not too satisfied with what they are seeing. So they decided to start something for themselves, to make money, to support their family and to accept their responsibility. I'm only praying that their greatness in this life is not going to have any reference. Their success will never be far from them. And um, I'm also encouraging those of you sitting at home and crying to God for help. And you are thinking of how to go into Yahoo, how to defraud somebody else of their hard-earned money. I hope that this this video inspires you to see beyond your limits and your horizon. Do not be ashamed of your identity. Think of how you can start something small and make something great out of it. Let's say bye to the viewers.